Hi, today I want to show you real quick how to set up a OpenDCOS cluster in Triton using Terraform and Ansible. On the left side of the screen you can see the Terraform configuration file which defines the credentials for connecting to Triton and also the, your infrastructure. In this case we need a bootstrap machine, master and agent nodes. The setup is pretty straightforward. There is a name, an image, a package, and, and a role and a tag role which defines the role that the server will have in our setup. There is also a connection block which Terraform will try to open as soon as the machine is created. It might be that in your case this step fails a couple of times and after a while it will pass. The idea behind this is that sometimes when you bring a machine up with Terraform in Triton, the machine is actually up, but it's not yet ready to accept SSH connections. And if you try to run your Ansible scripts or your Ansible playbooks, you will run into errors because the machine is not yet accessible. But if we open this, if we define this block right here, then Terraform will notify you that the machine is ready only when the SSH connection is also ready. This bootstrap machine defines a package of 2 gigabytes. That means that the bootstrap machine will have 2 gigabytes of RAM available. The master and agent nodes, on the other hand, define 15 gigabytes of RAM. This is set up as recommended by the people from Mesosphere. On the right side of the screen, you can see the Ansible playbook that will set up your whole cluster. There are different roles that we have created for you, like for example the bootstrap and the DCOS nodes. This will automatically automatically create all the cluster for you without, without any intervention of you only running the actual Ansible playbook. So let me show you real quick how we can get this done. First of all we're going to need a couple of variables. In this case, the most important two are the account and the key ID. Once that's set, then we can ask Terraform what's the plan. It is going to create a couple of agents, the bootstrap machine, and the master. So let's do that. Let's run that. All right. Now that Terraform is done creating our infrastructure, we can go ahead and provision it using Ansible. For that, we're going to run the Ansible playbook command, passing the dynamic inventory file that we've created for such a purpose. And the name of the playbook, which is called init.yaml. Alright, now that Ansible is done installing our DCOS cluster in Triton, we can go ahead and figure out what is the master IP to access the web UI. For that, we're going to use the Ansible dynamic inventory file for Terraform, which outputs several information for different servers, including the master server's IP. So we're going to go ahead and copy this, paste it into our browser, and finally we can access the DCUS UI. I'm going to go ahead and sign up with GitHub. I'm going to authorize the application. And finally, I can see the UI of my cluster up and running. So that's it. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video and if you have any comments or questions whatsoever, please do not hesitate to contact us on all of our social media channels including our blog and Twitter accounts. Thanks for watching and see you next time.